It's story time! Hello and welcome to the story time podcast. <laughs> I don't know if the mic is picking me up. Uh, today I have with me Elva Carey, who is one of the co founders of Girl Crew. Hello, Elva. <laughs> like, like a man in my nose. <laughs> These are so cool. I better turn off the lights. These are a promotional tool for Girl Crew. That's very cool. Instantly bigger brain. <laughs> So, uh, do you want to shout out where people can find you before we get stuck in? Yes. Uh, on girlcrew.com and they'll find, find the link to all our social media stuff there. My preference is that you follow us on Instagram because I'm in charge of the Instagram following bit. So, follow us there and you can ignore everything else so that <laughs> I do slightly better in my targets than Anya does in hers. <laughs> Um, and you can also download the app as well. So we haven't launched in all cities yet, uh, but we've launched in most of the Irish cities. Cool. Yeah. And maybe like in three sentences or less, how would you explain Girl Crew? Uh, the easiest way to make friends locally as a woman. Is that one sentence? <laughs> and <laughs> That's then... one because of one. <laughs> um, uh, but so it's kind of I like to explain it with an example so it's kind of like you want to go do something so you want to go to a gig and either your friends are busy or they hate Justin Bieber and you adore him so you post up in your local girl through group and you just say does anyone want to go to this with me and people generally say yes so that's what rock is yeah yeah so um I've, I've known you for a few years now and I met you through Goku and I thought that you would have lots of stories to share about girls because Goku has yeah. grown now to like 90, How many thousand? cities? Oh. 90,000. So, oh, not 90,000 cities. Nine, no, but 90,000 people. 90,000 people. Oh my God. And 46 cities. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Which is, God, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I want to see 90,000 people in one place at some point. Yeah. Just to understand. <laughs> that's like, like, that's a gig. Bigger than Crow Park? That's way bigger than Crow Park. Okay, cool. So I like think, a Beyonce gig. I think there might be like three Crow Parks. I'm not sure how, okay, how well. big Crow Park is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> It also depends whether you have people on the pitch or just in the seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so can you tell my favourite story? Yeah. Which is the story of how it got started. Yeah. Um, so I guess maybe I'll just kind of clarify first in case. But Girl Crew is like a business now. It's like your job now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's, um, so it kind of grew from a hobby. It grew from this story we're about to tell to a hobby to your job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. But fun. yeah, it's really interesting how it started. Yeah, because um, it was an accident. Because a lot of people are, have said to me over time, like, they're like, oh, it's such a great idea, it's such a great idea. And I'm like, thanks, A, like, the first bit of the idea wasn't even my idea. And B, like, I think I was just lucky it worked rather than thinking that it would. Um, but uh, it was a Friday night at home. Um and I really wanted to go out to like a club night that was on it was an Or Kelly club night. <laughs> I um, didn't know that. Part. Yeah. Oh my god. There's loads. <laughs> there's so many bits to that story people don't know. So because I was like, I would go to loads of stuff on my own as well. But like going out to a club was kind of like I'm not totally comfortable doing that on my own. Yeah. But I would go to gigs on my own. So I was kind of like, oh, maybe it'll just be like that. Um. But I had this inkling that this guy who I had liked. Um who I had probably been over enthusiastic about would probably be there and uh, like he had clicked going on the event page or something so I was like I feel like I can't go to that on my own because it will look yeah. like I'm going there <laughs> after him so before I started Girl Crew I went so far as to try putting on a hoodie and borrowing a baseball cap from my housemate to see could I like disguise myself <laughs> so I was like I can just go and if my, my like my hat down low and the hood off and I'm like that's totally acceptable at an or kelly night and i was like then like nobody will know it's me and i'm there on my own and then i was like at the bag of or kelly I know. Eggs. <laughs> and then i was like it on the off chance some he was there and he did recognize me in a like it actually yeah, might it even worse, even worse. <laughs> like hey i'm just creeping around um so yeah so i was talking to my little sister who i lived with um about like I wish there was a way for me to find all the girls who wanted to go dancing to the same music as me um, and uh, she was like why don't you use Tinder and I was like well if I put it up on Tinder like I'll be matching with girls who are looking for girls and maybe that'll be kind of like deceptive cross yeah, yeah. Um, and so uh, we figured out like I could put it up as a guy uh, but not 
blatantly pretending to be a guy. So I changed my gender setting on Tinder to male so that I'd show up to all the girls who were looking for guys and put a pink picture up saying, I'm female, I'm straight, I just really want to go out dancing and does anyone want to go out? Um, and I thought maybe like three or four people would be equally nuts and brave and just be like, yeah, screw it, I'll go. Um, and uh, yeah, I matched with a hundred people within 24 hours wow and everybody was really enthusiastic and like some people were inviting me out with their friends and other people like the majority of people were in the same position as me which was um friends had moved out of Dublin or moved away or they had settled down and they were in relationships they didn't want to go out as much or they had kids so they were tied to being at home more um and that was the very start of girl group that's nice yeah so I went out with... Um, That's quite clever. I never yeah. realised you had to change your the gender, gender to men. Yeah, because yeah, I never... I assumed you just met it so both could see you or something I think yeah. that's what I assumed but I I never thought that yeah. you had to make sure you weren't misleading on ladies yes. looking for ladies yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah yeah because it was like you could be you could be looking for like you can go on and use it as a girl looking for girls or as a girl looking for guys or vice versa for guys looking for guys um but you couldn't I don't think maybe there is now but there wasn't, there wasn't a way like a to show up to both yeah. yeah or to use it platonically so I figured that was the easiest way to just be like uh, I'm not trying to trick you into a date or yeah <laughs> romantic platform like I think that was the thing I felt like I had to be clear about but but like a one person so one person out of the hundred people who wanted to go out double checked anything or was suspicious in any way which I thought was amazing as well because yeah. I really thought like tinder will be you know everyone will have their guard up and be skeptical and feel weird about it um, and one person kind of like double checked that I wasn't trying to trick her into going on yeah, a, what you weren't on a date yeah. <laughs> oh um, then you weren't trying yeah, to go on a date yeah and I was like, no, genuinely. <laughs> yeah, like, definitely not interested. Just, yeah. So that's how it started. And I went out. <coughs> I, I had chatted to a bunch of girls. And um, like, funnily enough, the first person I talked to said she would have loved to go to the Or Kelly night, except for it was too late for her to like get ready and leave wherever she was at the time and go out. And I was like, that's amazing. So it was magical from the beginning. But I went out with another girl I had chatted to and uh, one of my best friends from college the next night as like a test run. Um, and she was lovely and it was really, really fun. And um, so the day after that, set up the Girl Crew Dublin Facebook group and sent the link to everyone. Um, um, and that's when everyone yeah. started joining. And grew from there. Yeah. God, yeah. so imagine if that first night out, the yeah. test run had gone terribly, would you have just been like, no, forget it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because I think I was, I think from, like, from when I was matching with a lot of people, like I was getting a match, a match, a match, and also going through all the girls' profiles, I was like, oh, everyone looks so lovely. So, like, it was really weird to go from, like, swiping through guys because I had I was using it for dating like at the time so swiping through guys and you're like that guy looks a bit creepy or yeah you should put a shirt on or <laughs> yeah. I don't know like all these various things um to then going looking at girls and they have these lovely bios like I like cake and tea and there's like a picture of her playing the violin and all these different <laughs> yeah. like lovely things yeah. and you were just like I thought it would feel weird but actually I was like oh these people are lovely and they're just like me um so I think even if the first one had gone terribly I think I probably was already curious about yeah, we what would this be it. like and yeah. there was so many other people were interested like I partly felt like I'd have to set up the group or find some way to connect them all with each other even if I didn't want to that they could because yeah. like there were all these people wanted something so yeah and um, when I first came across Girl Crew, so yeah. um, for anyone who might not know, I have a video up on my channel of where I went on a night out with Girl Crew. Yeah. Went to, um, we went climbing. Went climbing, yes, yeah, so that was it. Yeah. Um, so basically I got in touch, I found you on Twitter and I got in touch and yeah. I was like, I want to do an Irish Bucket List series because this is really cool. Yeah. Um, and it was a very early actually episode of with the Irish Bucket List. Um, and, but I found you because you went super viral. Do you want yeah. to tell us? Right? Well, super viral within Irish yeah. standards, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone <laughs> in Ireland knew about this thing. Yeah, yeah. It's still uh, one of my favorite things that's happened. And I, I thought it did make one or two international 
I don't know. I maybe thought it maybe it made Mashable or BuzzFeed or somewhere. God. But I could be wrong. If it did, I don't know that it did. But that would be cool. <laughs> no, we'd have noticed an increase in our traffic from somewhere, I'd say. I but definitely was covered did. in all the Irish ones. Mary Robinson respond. Mary Robinson's office responded to it. That was like the peak of all of it. Yeah, so you better explain oh, first yeah. what, happened, so, yeah. what happened. Especially for Americans who may not know the people involved. Okay, yeah. So, um, it was... I'm like, what part of the story do I even start? Yeah, where do you start? So, well, did the idea come about naturally? Or did, yeah. like, did somebody say, I have a great idea? Or did it yeah. just sort of happen by accident? Yeah, or? it was a bit of an idea. So it started off... Uh, so uh, because of how Girl Crew started, like it started from all these people on Tinder joining a Facebook group. So the majority of the people in the group were on Tinder, were single. Um, and... And, like, a lot of what bonded people then in the very beginning was similar experiences, good or bad, from Tinder. So there was lots of, like, dating chat and stuff. Because yeah, of that. I remember that, actually. So there was two girls from the group who were just out one night after work, and they started chatting, and they were like, wouldn't it be funny, like, a little prank, uh, if we all changed our profile picture to the same picture on Tinder? Um, and loads of us were like, that would be hilarious, let's do it. And other people were like... I don't know. I don't think this is funny. I don't think we should do it. Because they were kind of... I think some people... Like, I felt like this is a really innocent, funny little prank that doesn't really have any negative consequences necessarily. Um, And I think other people felt like, no, we should be really respectful of, like, we don't like when guys are doing crappy stuff on Tinder, so we shouldn't do crappy stuff. So there's kind of both sides. But uh, we started talking about what would we all change our picture to? Um, And someone suggested Mary Robinson, who, for viewers, who don't know was uh, the first woman president of Ireland and she is uh, one of the elders and has been part of the UN like I'm not even sure of her role in the UN but like incredible strong inspirational woman generally for Ireland um, and I think everybody then was just like this is great let's do it because it was like uh, yeah I don't know it just seemed really funny and like we weren't doing it for any reason yeah. and like it's funny because obviously she wouldn't really be on Tinder yes. but also yeah. like it was it wasn't poking it, like she's respected by or, everyone and yeah. like, all, like women in Ireland love Mary Robinson so yeah. it wasn't like like you could tell like it was in good fun like I yes. thought it was hilarious yeah yeah <laughs> so did I I still think I think it was Janice Daly suggested it. we used Mary Robinson as I still think she's a genius for picking that out because some people were picking other people that I felt like I don't know like I, just, I yeah. felt like if we picked them it was sort of like taking the piss or something um, but this one just seemed genius um, so it was a bank holiday Sunday in August August and um, I wasn't even in Dublin but uh, we all changed our pictures to Mary Robinson or most of us did and uh, that was as much of a plan as we had so then we were like chatting in the group like are you matching with people like are you swiping on people or are you just leaving it up there so other people were like oh yeah I'm swiping on people I'm just swiping right on everyone so I was like everyone was like okay we'll start swiping and then we were like what are you doing when you're matching with someone like people are talking to me and uh so like some of the girls were talking back as if they were Mary Robinson um and we were like that's so smart um but like they were talking back as if they were Mary Robinson but like none of us even had the name Mary like we still had because Tinder you had to set it up through your Facebook page so we still all had our names <laughs> so it was like Tara pretending to be Mary Robinson Elva pretending to be Mary Robinson like it made yeah, no so it sense. wasn't like you couldn't even argue that like you were trying to pretend that she was on no. Tinder because you weren't because you were saying it was in your real names like no. it was just yeah parody and homage yeah but there were guys like there were guys going like oh I've always had a thing for Mary <laughs> and like and really funny stuff and then and other guys being like what's the deal with the picture or whatever and girls were like oh I'm that's my picture I'm Mary Robinson <laughs> they're like other guys going like oh what are you up to for the day and girls were saying like I'm just chilling in Ars Anuksharan <laughs> over for a visit with Michael D and like it just went on and on but it was hilarious um, and like the guys people matched with I think were really they thought it was funny I think as well yeah. and thought it was good fun so yeah and then um we were doing our own little private lols about it all and sharing our screenshots with each other and um and then someone spotted I can't remember it somebody put up on Reddit some guy put up on Reddit is anyone matching with a lot of Mary Robinson that's today? how I saw it yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um and someone put that in the group and we were like 
<laughs> like, because we hadn't really thought about that either. Like, we hadn't really thought about, like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, it was just a private joke that sort of, like, yeah, escalated. <laughs> escalated. So everyone then started claiming, like, guys who had matched with more than one of us were going, like, you know, there's another Mary Robinson. So everyone took the stance then of, I'm the real Mary Robinson. <laughs> She's an imposter. And so, like, it was amazing, like, you know, like, getting to do this and talk about it within the group as well. Because I think, like, we just were winging it the whole time. So it went up there and then um, because of it going up on Reddit, I think, or the Irish subreddit, um, uh, The Independent did a piece on it online um, and someone put that into the group then because it was like they, they were guessing at that maybe it was a marketing stunt by Tinder. Um, so we thought that was hilarious because we were like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, and then it eventually people found out it was us because one um person so Amy O'Connor um like direct messaged me and she's a journalist else. from, yeah, Daily, from Edge. The Daily Edge and she's hilarious and her yeah, stuff is great. So um, <laughs> she was on to you. She was <laughs> on to us and we don't even know how because like up to that point like Girl Crew was our little secret and people like new people were joining like through word of mouth and through friends and whatever but like we weren't telling people about it. Um and she direct messaged me and someone else saying like was it you did this like I'd love to do a piece on it and so we had a chat about it in within the Facebook group because I was like look this journalist got in touch and um she's really funny and I think she would do it justice or whatever um and so like will we tell them it was us and what do we say and not say so we were having this big debate about it in the group because some people wanted it because it had been our little secret and it had been our little joke and stuff as well so some people really wanted to keep it as our own thing um, and then in the end um, we decided we'd tell her but in the midst of all of, of us having that debate in the group Amy O'Connor joined the Facebook group and like commented on thread and everyone was like no now she can see everything like we can't even stop this if we want to but she was really lovely and like she reassured everyone that she would only write about it if we said it was okay which um, that was even really sweet like for the people who weren't sure it wanted, they wanted it to go out um, so yeah she wrote a piece on it and then the Irish Times did a video piece and a couple of other things happened there was one other amazing story came out of that as well but I tell the yeah. sub story uh, but it's a good one I think because um, one of the reasons girls didn't want the story going out was um, I think some people felt like they'd be judged for being on in a Tinder group that, that, well not for being on Tinder for being a group of like women that they meet other women they don't know online and was this kind of like yeah. sad and pathetic <laughs> um, yeah. and so that was what like the reasons for some people like who did feel insecure about it uh, and like I think girls were like very acceptable in Dublin now yeah, yeah, big know time. it's yeah. good crack but when we, we you know there was no like there was no context for it but especially a couple of years ago I think meeting people on the internet in general was, was less common it was anyway. less common because Tinder was only new yeah. and like a lot of people weren't even admitting to being on Tinder yes. in their mind yeah. like you were meeting like, I hope strangers I don't on the internet see a colleague on here yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was one of the things and then one girl posted up in the group like a couple of days after the story went out somewhere and she was standing in a queue in Starbucks uh, or some coffee place and um uh, there was two guys in front of her and one of the guys in front of her was talking about a like how pathetic this was and how pathetic these women were kind of for having this group and b that he was going to set up a fake profile and like good luck because we vet people very carefully before we add them to the group but he was going to set up a fake, fake profile so he could join the group and go and sleep with everyone like this was his plan and this is what yeah. he had taken from it or whatever <laughs> but while he was standing in the queue and she was standing behind him he was like giving her eyes like he was like checking her out and like kind of letting her know like <laughs> sort of interested or whatever and she was posting in the group about it and she was like raging also kind of like a bit embarrassed about it I think or whatever and we were like don't listen to him don't listen to him <laughs> this guy is stupid um and then she uh she like she wasn't commenting then for a little while and then she came back and she was like I uh, I went back and handed him a note and like winked at him as I gave it to him and she made him think so she tried to make him think yeah like, like she was getting her she, number yeah. yeah she was getting his number but then she showed us a picture of what the note said and the note was like it's because of dickheads like you these groups exist or something yeah. and we were like hey. <laughs> that was perfect yeah so yeah. I like that even when someone thought it was crappy like the response was yeah very... how dare these strange women have fun without me I know yeah. my, I want to put my penis in all of them 
Yeah, men. Obviously, it's why perfect are men? logic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, girl crew actually did expand out to guys and girls. There's yeah. a Dublin girl and guy group. Yep, yeah. it has a complicated name. Is that the right name? Oh, Dublin it has a guy really and cool girl <laughs> events. Group yeah, or it's something. like girl crew because we didn't want to take girl crew out of it because we were like we're not going to take the girl crew out of it just because there's guys in it. Cause yeah, because that's the, the name, name of the, the business. Yeah, um, and so it's like girl crew, guys and girls mixed events, Dublin something I don't know it got longer and longer we've changed it two or three times um, yeah and that came about because we tried starting a guys one and it didn't work in the same way yeah. um, but guys do very well in a mixed space it seems in terms of feeling comfortable like suggesting things and going and meeting up and organising things or whatever um, just seems to work better so there is that one in Dublin Yeah. so yeah, yeah. Um, I remember you told me the story before basically you did the same yeah. thing with guys on Tinder and it just yeah. didn't really work out yeah there was loads of guys wanted to join and liked the idea of it and lots of guys did join but it was when they came to actually planning things and meeting up there just wasn't the same energy or enthusiasm yeah. or comfort or something yeah. like they didn't feel as comfortable doing it I think but there were guys who wanted to meet up yeah I think it probably needed like a like a spearhead someone to yeah. like you yeah but maybe a guy yeah I, I imagine that yeah. was probably tough as well trying to be like the first. I'm, not, I'm not gonna let go I'm just organising your guys stuff and yeah. enjoy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> bye good luck yeah. just stay away from us yeah. Like, yeah. have friends this group make friends. for you yeah <laughs> yeah um, but yeah the guys and girls group I find really good yeah and I'm, it is I'm cool and we there. watched that as well because there was loads of girls who had like partners or cousins or brothers or whatever who wanted to meet people and we were like well that'll be an easier way for couples to organise things with other couples yeah. or friends or whatever as well which I thought was really nice so yeah that's going well yeah yeah, yeah. and um, I assume there's been like I think there has I think I have seen singles events organised yeah we used and it's to bring it the yeah there was one at the start and it was like bring a single friend I thought that was a really yeah. good idea they worked really well because it was hard like there's been some where we had no rules about having to bring someone and then others where we had rules and it was to keep numbers even because I think oh yeah I think in case singles was, yeah. events tend to get more of one gender or the other and I think that just depends on what the event is or yeah. and like and who's organising it and who they know and stuff um, so yeah we organised things where you had to you had to buy two tickets um, and it was like uh, well we started off with mixed pool tournaments but you had to bring yeah uh, just a guy who was single and you were single and the pool tournaments were really good because uh, they were like doubles tournaments so you'd get paired up with someone you didn't know for your team and then because um, it's a tournament you keep playing different people so it keeps moving and changing so instead of feeling like forced to mingle and network you're like the situation forces you to yeah. mingle which yeah. I thought was really good um, but yeah we've done others as well and they um, good yeah. What I was gonna say, uh, I find the groups really helpful as well as a resource. Like, yeah. so hopefully listeners and people watch on YouTube will know that I work for the YouTube channel Facts. Yeah. So every now and again, if I'm looking for someone outside of like people we already yeah. have on the books, yeah. I'll jump into the guys and girls yeah. group or maybe Dublin Girl Crew, and yeah. I've got loads of people really interested. Cool. So we did. Um, we did. I got. We did vegetarians taste this meat, and I got a couple of vegetarians. Oh, wow. I think I got two from the Girl okay, Crew. Cool. Yeah, and yeah. we did. Um, I think I got a personal were they trainer. Okay? Were they traumatized or were they okay? No, they were they fine. They were okay. Yeah. So had they eaten meat before? Had they been vegetarians like their whole life? One had been a vegetarian her whole life. Okay. And, uh, or well, not her whole life. I think she was veg- started vegetarian around 11 yeah. and she was 40 something. So it okay. was 30 years. Okay. That was the longest. Wow. Then there was one who'd only been a vegetarian for a year and a bit. Yeah. So fairly new, but yeah. like... Still hadn't touched me you know what I mean yeah. um, so it was her first time tasting since she gave it up and okay. then another girl had been five years so okay. yeah. yeah it's actually quite tough to find people who've been I have a friend who was yeah. raised vegetarian but who is yeah. not now vegetarian but it's quite okay. tough to find people who've been raised from the start yeah are you vegetarian? no lots no. of people mistake me for one I actually killed vegetarianism in my family because no way yeah so because my mom. My mom had worked in a health food shop, so my mum and my dad and my older sister were a vegetarian family. And then one day mum um, just got a craving for meat and she went to, I think it was Burger Land, uh, and got two quarter pounders and sat into the car and just took the meat out of them. And wow. just ate the meat and then found out she was pregnant with me. And, oh, <laughs> Like, how do you go yeah. into this story? Yeah. Okay. I got so, it. So, my family hasn't been vegetarian <laughs> since, so I'm sorry, animals. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, but I do have, yeah, I have one friend who, yeah, they've been vegetarian forever. Wow, well, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, are there any other stories? Because I'm sure you've, like, yeah. nearly too many. Yeah. Um. Because, like, 90,000 people, there must be so many people, like, meeting all over the world. Have you any... Yeah. Um, I know you have a few prepared, but, like, just yeah. out of curiosity, is there anyone that... Have you any, like, stories where people have paired off or... Because you've guys and girls group around the world oh, as yeah. well. Like, oh, no, we only have guys and girl group in Dublin. Oh, really? So we kind of... Oh, in Dublin... Special. Yeah, in Dublin we have such a big group and we have so much kind of interest uh, that we get to test stuff in Dublin that we don't have big enough numbers gotcha. to try out really or do well in other cities. Um, so that's only in Dublin. So, but people have actually... Like, there's been two weddings in the last... Or maybe it's one wedding and one engagement in the last six months um, from girls who met guys on Girl Crew Nights Out. No way. And they had been like doing online dating stuff or whatever and not meeting people. Um, and that was part of the thing of Girl Crew as well at the start. Like when it was all singles, it was like we were finally getting out with other single people, meeting new people yeah. and making new connections. But I think the older you get... And the more friends you have who are settled down, the harder it is to meet people Definitely. outside of yeah. your Because you don't want to show up to a club on your have. own or a nightclub yeah. on your own and be like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> and if all your friends are in relationships, they don't necessarily want to like drag you out and be a wingman or wingwoman. Like yeah. some people are amazing at that, whether they're in a relationship or not. So there was, yeah, like a big push of like everyone um, going out and meeting new people. But yeah, so one of one girl who met a guy on a girl crew night out got married a couple of months ago and another girl who met a guy on a girl crew night out uh, just got engaged about four weeks ago, I think. Oh, so amazing. yeah, that's really interesting to see. Um, and there have been, I think there have been relationships have come out of the guys and girls one. like Definitely best one, friendships have happened because yeah. you and the other two oh, co-founders... Yeah. Like our yeah. best friends, yeah, and Probably now your together. coworkers. That with friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's purely really professional. Um, yeah, actually, what I wanted to ask you is, do you ever yeah. like get tired? Because presumably now going to these oh, events is also tired. part of your job. So you're like working, yeah. and then you have to go to events. Yeah. So you must be like on the go constantly. Yeah, I started limiting maybe how much I go to after a certain point and um, that was like less because of energy and more because of uh, I kept meeting people that I really really liked like because there's so many lovely girls in Dublin um, and you end up having crack with people and you really want to be friends with them and you think you'll stay friends with them and then you like I there's only seven evenings in a week to see people and yeah. hang out with people and I didn't have enough time to sustain friendships which I didn't I, I didn't like that because I like giving energy to people if they're important to me uh, so I stopped going to as much and tried to like make keep sure up with the people you were organizing met, yeah. their own things and hosting their own things and we started getting encouraging other people to host stuff so there was that but we did uh, we started Girl Crew Premium in Dublin um, at the start of this year and so that's like people pay 10 euro a month to be in it um, but we organise and host the events for people so there's like you know like six weeks in advance this is happening next week and you always know in advance who's hosting it what their number is and all different details um, so since we started doing that I'm hosting more again because we're kind of taking turns and hosting it so I'm hosting but maybe just one or two a month and then because we're doing Doing launch events for the app at the moment we're doing some of those things but I had like I had really like sneaked out of hosting anything for a really <laughs> long time up till two months ago um and because I'm naturally more of an introvert I think anyway so like yeah I like being around the people I know or like small groups and uh, it takes me which is while. quite interesting for yeah. someone who started a worldwide yeah thing yeah. that now has 90,000 yeah. people like, in it like it sounds contradictory but actually like I think what part of it was was I was like oh my god there's a, I've matched with 100 people what do I do and I'm like <laughs> if I put them in a Facebook group they can just talk to each other <laughs> Um, like I honestly think that's part of it because I was panicked I was like a hundred women want to go out I was like <laughs> that sounds like hell because I was just but because I was picturing I think like 25 women out every weekend doing shots and people would think we were a head night everywhere we went all the time yeah. um, and it just showed me that I had terrible stereotypes about women and groups of women because that wasn't what it was like um, 
there's loads of little things like that that I've learned I think from the group but yeah so I'm not really hosting as much generally anymore yeah yeah but it is there has been times where it's really busy um I really like start the... later maybe in the yeah. day oh I guess and, like, yeah try and like because we can work slightly flexible hours most of the time so I kind of balance it out because I would look at hosting you know maybe it sounds mean but I would look at it as work now as yeah well. and I have no choice but to look at it like that I think in some ways yeah yeah but um, what I really like is the way Girl Crew as well is like has kind of expanded out to cover everyone so every time yeah. there's somebody in the group that goes oh I don't really feel like I can go to these events because yeah. I'm not in that group another yeah. subgroup starts like yeah. so I remember that happened with um, I think it was a new mum or something or okay. and she was like I don't want to kind of go to a singles night is there anyone I think it was over 40 she was like is there anyone yeah. can we maybe make an older and yeah. then a new group spawned off and yeah. there's now like a fitness group and like yeah. for people who want to go for walks and stuff yeah. I think it's really cool yeah it is because we're conscious of it not sometimes we're sometimes those subgroups start without our permission and we're like <laughs> get back into the other group this wasn't approved we haven't authorised this um, but uh, and that's but yeah because sometimes well on Facebook anyway and it might be different on the app going forward um, but our subgroups we would do them as like event pages because then yes. still everyone could access them but like different groups of stuff. Ah, I wondered why you did that way groups. it was so everyone would always have access to everything and wouldn't have to be accepted yeah because like, every but group also cause nobody, be accepted in. nobody knows everything so like nobody sees everything that's posted in the group I'd say about five people in total have ever read the guidelines and the pin post so it's like no matter how many times you try and tell people like there's another group for this like they still just whatever group they're in they're just going to post yeah. it there and um, so, so that there. makes sense then so if yeah. you're in the Girl Crew Dublin Facebook group yeah. and you click events you can yeah. actually see all the subgroups yes you should oh, be able to clever. but they're in as events so they're mixed in with like events actual events and, yeah. Yeah. But still, it's still a good way to do post. it though that yeah. makes sense Yeah. but then on the app that's part of the reason for the app is making loads of this stuff easier because it's like we have a groups button and so you hit the groups and you can scroll yeah. through the groups well also I guess like, to rely maybe on Facebook yeah. less because I know that yeah. like you have a really good relationship with Facebook but yeah. just yeah. make your own thing just in case <sighs> totally yeah because I think the really good relationship with them is just they featured us to try and promote their platform and we accepted being featured to promote <laughs> our platform yeah. so it's like well we needed each other I guess temporarily yeah because that was amazing and it was cool but there's no real relationship there like other than that um but it was still cool. That video, they, they Facebook did a video about Girl Crew and um, yeah. it got a lot of views, I want to say. Yeah, like a million, every so it? often I go back and have a look and I'm like, are more people still watching it? So I think it's 1.7 million. That's pretty good. Which is a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. But they weren't like, oh, there's Girl Crew groups all over the world. This is great. Their story was like, Elva was sad. Elva had no <laughs> friends. <laughs> Facebook... Now Elva has friends. Because it was like... <laughs> yeah, they like, cut out the gender <laughs> marriage, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, actually, I think when I watched that, I was yeah. like, I wonder, was that Facebook or was that Elva being like, just cut out the gender marriage? No, that was Facebook. <laughs> they were like, at the start, they were letting me say, like, a dating platform or something. They were like, then they were like, no, let's not talk about this. Yeah, um, let's just totally take credit for it. Yes, <laughs> yes. We gave this girl friends and now she's happy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Facebook. But they did. Like, they did in a way. Yeah. And, like, I do... I think Facebook's amazing. Like, I do love Facebook. there were Facebook. loads of... I think that's the other thing. Like, I've always... I love social media and the internet and digital stuff for what it can facilitate offline and in real life and what it can make easier. So, yeah, I do love them for that. I think it's a bonkers platform. Like, I can't get over... You know, I think they have nearly 2 billion people now. So yeah, I read... An, I read um, well, I saw a headline the other day that said they've hit 2 billion active okay, users yeah. a month. Yeah. Active users. Like, that's, that's insane. Because that's bigger than any country's population. Yep. Isn't it? Like, yep. no one country has a billion I don't... And no other social networks even coming close. Yeah. Like, it's insane. It's scary. I would um, not like to community manage that. No. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Um, and then, so, just to finish up, you mentioned before we started that you had a couple of stories that didn't involve you that you thought were really good. Oh yeah, like member the... stories. Yeah. I'm like, uh, can I see my pieces? Yeah, do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I can remember them. Just because there's so many little ones. Because I feel like there's so many little, or there's so many big and little member stories. Um, but... Uh, 
my favorite ones are like there was a girl who was traveling in Japan and something didn't work out with who she was traveling with or they had to leave or something and she posted in our travel group going like is anyone in like some city in Japan I can't even remember where and then one of the girls from the Edinburgh group was in the travel group was in the same city in Japan and she was like I'm also there and then they posted later and they were like drinking beers together amazing in some square I was like that was amazing because we don't have a group in Japan so it was just like what were the odds? And that was amazing that they would yeah, both Yeah, so they both had it. to be in the travel group and then be in the country. Yeah, oh, yeah wow, be yeah, in the country that's... and see the post because people miss loads of stuff as well. So I was like, this is amazing. Um, and then we've had like two women who were like over the age of 70 joined within a week of each other and made friends with each other because one Aww. woman joined and she was like, I think I'm a bit old for this. And we were like, well, we have an over 40s group and that's like goes way up. So like join that, you're totally welcome. And then someone else like um, messaged as well going, I think, I'm too old and we're like we had a 72 year old join you're only 70 you're not even the oldest <laughs> yeah. um, and so they made friends so that's been amazing to see but then just like that's so amazing. many random little stories like there was one girl who needed help with something in town one day like at a bus stop and there was some girl like there and she helped her out with I can't even remember the specifics specifics of whatever it was but one girl was just really nice to another girl in the city centre um, and then the girl who the person had been nice to posted in the Dublin group later on that day to say what had happened to her and how lovely people were and like I think she was saying like the group had made her like think like or like remember that girls around you or people around you are going to be nice and helpful anyway so she just posted this little story in the group and then the girl who had helped her out was in the group and she was like oh my that was me you're welcome <laughs> Um, and there's just like it's like stuff like that happens all the time and I think getting to the launch events has been amazing as well because we're getting outside of Dublin more meeting people who were like one of the girls at the Galway event was like she was in it in Cork for when she was in college I think and now she's in the one in Galway and she said like all her best friends she's met through Girl Crew and then mm. like at the Cork one there was a girl who was going away the next day with like seven girls she's friends with from Girl Crew to Amsterdam or something and someone who'd gone to Liverpool for work and just posted up to see the Liverpool group know anywhere good for dinner and then ended up going for dinner like wait girls from the group that's stuff. amazing so it's just like over and over again you get these stories that you're like oh it does it does actually yeah, work it, it works just for me <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I would have loved something like that when I was in Australia actually because when yeah. I was in Australia I used is it meetup.com oh, or yeah. something but it Meet's was good. it was um it's it's a different kind of it just doesn't f- I guess at the time it was very intimidating for me yeah because the meetup.com is very impersonal in comparison Um, because obviously Facebook's very personal and people have their personal profile pictures and they're all having a chat Yeah, and you know you can go or you don't have to whatever but the meetup felt very formal so I remember kind of thinking I'd like to sign up to a couple of things and I was like oh I don't know I don't want to just show up and and I can click it here that I'll go but they don't know me and I don't know what they look like and stuff like that whereas it it was much easier for me to show up to stuff from Girl Crew because Like I had seen people chat about it, and everyone was excited, and every yeah. and a lot of people didn't already know each other either, so yeah. it took away that. Yeah, because I think fear. when you see that, because it has kind of the online social element as well as the offline social element, which does make it like, yeah, that little bit less intimidating, and because people will chat to each other and like private message each other and swap numbers and stuff yeah. if they're nervous and things, which I don't think that happens as much on Meetup.com. Oh yeah, no, I'd, well, yeah. not, I haven't really used it, but yeah. from the time I did use it, I didn't find that at all. Yeah, it yeah. felt like you kind of applied to join a meetup or something. It wasn't yes. like... Yes, and it's like, person. this is happening at this time, every month in this place, and this is happening at this time, at the, every week in this place, which is like, I can't, I can't handle that. Like, I yeah, can't it's live too, like that. Like, yeah, it's too If I do the same thing three times at the same time in a week, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so bored. I can't do this ever again. So Girl Crew's perfect for me as well, because it's like, ah, I can just do things things whenever yeah um, actually just friend. chatting with you here is a, it's yeah. made me realise that I should go to turn to girl crew because I want to try yeah. flag football which is like American football but with tags oh and, yeah cool um, I really want to try Set it, it and I was talking to a yes. guy who does it and he yeah. was saying that like actually loads of teams need girls because okay, cool. girls don't seem to know it's a thing okay. and they're like every team has to have minimum one okay. and he was like if Ireland could get together a girls team it'd be amazing because yeah. other countries have a total yeah. like girls only team that okay. could play against America or whatever. That would be amazing. And I was like, 
I was like, the other day, I was like, we well, must it. find like yes. 10 girls who are yes. interested in giving ten it a go. Girls. <laughs> I think we can give you 10 <laughs> girls. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so, so much. All of the double girls who are watching. Yep. Who anybody who wants to try flag football, I must post in the group oh, now when I get it when it. I get a better idea of how to yeah. join. Yeah. Um but thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thanks for having me on and I hope I didn't do too much rambling. And give yeah. uh, another quick shout out there, remind people where they can find you on the internet. Instagram.com for slash girls crew. <laughs> oh you don't even type in the website for Instagram, do you? Find us on Instagram. It's girl crew <laughs> HQ. Um, and then and download the app and because we're if we don't have your city on the app yet you can join the waiting for city group um, and we'll be launching in like all the US cities and everything over the summer oh, so amazing. yeah it'll be exciting God, it's going America yes oh, America yeah, we're wow take, take over America like a band like a band that hopefully doesn't come home with their head hanging <laughs> in shame <laughs> yeah. we're going to make it yeah. um, I'll have all the links in the description and uh, yeah okay cool and if you want to join Girl Crew it's Girl Crew Dublin is the name of the group. Yeah. You're best going to the website. And oh, sorry, yeah, the link app. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah, or the website. The website or the app, because either one. Cause you so I'll have all the links down below and you can join it however you cool. see fit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, thank you so much. Thank and you. Uh, we are on SoundCloud and YouTube and check out the Patreon and uh, see you next week. Cool. I didn't know how to end. I was like, do I, will I wave? Will I say goodbye? Do I walk out of the room? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting. I was like,